G-Friend was a girl group that was on its way to slowly taking over the world when it all abruptly came to an end. So what really happened? G-Friend was a six-member girl group that debuted in 2015 under Source Music. The band consisted of the members Shinbi, Sowan, Omji, Yuju, Yedin, and Una. Their big boom came with the release of Me Gustas 2, which is considered a K-pop classic to this day. The band received recognition with their third EP, Snowflake, when the single Rough became a hit with numerous wins in music shows. Their last albums were hits, and everyone expected G-Friend to aim even higher. The band was even recognized by the Grammy Museum and interviewed as the first girl group for the Grammy Mini Masterclass. To say that G-Friend had anything other than incredible career achievements ahead would be an understatement. But then it all came to a halt. On May 17th, 2021, Source Music announced that the exclusive artist contract with G-Friend and Source Music will be concluded on May 22nd. The statement said the band and the label have come to an agreement to follow separate paths to continued growth. This statement came as a shock to many as there weren't any discussions about the contract negotiations happening behind the closed door, which is something that always makes round around the media to alert the fans of what's coming soon, either disbandment or re-signing of the contracts. These discussions usually take place around the time the band nears their seventh year, which is the year that ended many popular bands. But each time, there was at least some hint of it even coming. Even the interview for Grammy Museum made fans think that the band was going to start aiming for recognition in the West after being so loved in Korea. Mago was a perfect retro sound that could charm even people who weren't into the classic K-pop girl group sound. What made the announcement even weirder is the fact that G-Friend had a pre-planned schedule for months ahead. Yuju's YouTube show, Yuju is Holly Queen, still had episodes to be aired, and Yedin had an emceeing gig for Beauty Time Season 3, which also wasn't finished airing. On top of that, Una also recorded an OST that could only come out after the contract, since the episode in which the song appeared came out later. The band's activities were in the air as well, since their fan meet was postponed ever since 2020 due to the coronavirus. The members also loved to interact with the fans and would post on the fan cafe weekly. G-Friend's schedule was on Source Music's official websites with dates when all the content was supposed to come out. However, right after they published the disbanding announcement, the schedule got taken down. The abruptness of it all left the fans shocked and outraged. How come Source Music just ended the group and halted all of their schedules? There was something that wasn't adding up. Some fans even had a prepaid Weavers membership, which was another reason why fans suspected that the band was originally supposed to last much longer. So when the fans turned to Source Music and Hybe asking for refunds for the membership and the postponed fan sign, Source Music released another statement saying, There has not been sufficient time following the decision to finalize all details regarding these issues. There was some gossip about some employees being blindsided by the disbandment of the group, which is making people raise eyebrows at how truly out of nowhere this came. The refunds to the fans created more issues than anyone could expect. Source Music planned to only refund the fans in Weaver's cash, which is something you can only use in Weaver's and not real money you can get back. This caused backlash as the money would only be able to go back into Hybe and Source Music's pockets. It got so big that even Korean media outlets started to write about the issue and lawyers started to read into the situation as well since the companies could be breaking the law about e-commerce. Source Music was forced to solve the issue, so they created a Google questionnaire where the fans could fill out their personal information and the money could be returned to their bank accounts. However, Source Music made a fatal mistake when they accidentally set the questionnaires to public instead of private, which is why the personal information of 22 people got leaked for nine minutes. Source Music published a statement saying, As we consigned some of our personal information handling process to the platform as part of our membership management, Source Music is obligated to exercise strict management and oversight, but failed to do so. The company was also fined by South Korea's Personal Information Protection Commission 3 million won for this mistake. The company's complete chaos regarding the refunding was met with both anger and apathy from fans at this point, since it seemed like everything connected to the disbandment of G-Friend was a complete mess from the get-go. Many people pointed out how bands that are preparing to disband usually drop a goodbye song, album, or concert, but G-Friend's views were very bright when it came to the future together. But even from the members' claims, it's easy to realize how abrupt the disbandment was, especially when Shinbi confirmed that the girls only found out about a month before the announcement. Another member, Solon, revealed, First of all, the other G-Friend members and I don't think of the group as disbanded, but it's true that it was hard for me to accept the news, because the news was so sudden. It was only after disbandment that Shinbi revealed that she didn't know their Mago comeback would be their last. Looking back, she regrets it as she has been struggling with mental health ever since their fever promotion in the summer of 2019. Shinbi further explained that, The depression lasted through our final round of promotions as G-Friends, so to be honest, my motivation had really dropped before our Mago promotions. Now looking back, it makes her even more upset. I didn't know that they would be our final promotions as a group, so I went through the promotions feeling really unmotivated because of my depression 
impression, and looking back on it now, I find myself thinking, why did I wrap up those promotions without any motivation? It's sad to think that not even after a year, she is still regretting not being fully in it. But the most important question stayed unanswered. Why did the group disband? Source Music's revenue was as high as it was thanks to G-Friend, which is also what attracted Hybe. G-Friend was successful, with each new album outselling the old one, so why wouldn't Hybe buy the company? The merger of Big Hit Entertainment and Source Music under Hybe happened back in 2019, and was met with excitement for new chances the group could get, and critique of how Hybe will definitely forget about the group. So when G-Friend abruptly disbanded, many pointed out that Hybe could play a role in this as well. Hybe owns 80% of Source Music, so the fans naturally question how much authority each label had when it came to such a big decision. According to a Naver article, it was Hybe who decided to disband the group, as they seemed to have new projects coming up that already had Hybe's name partly written on them. Apparently, it was Hybe who created media rumors about the G-Friends contracts expiring instead of Hybe ending them. The previously mentioned faulty questionnaires that ended up leaking information and causing a scandal were created by Big Hit, however, it was Source Music who got all the lashings. A year after G-Friend disbanded, Hybe and Source Music debuted a new girl group called La Seraphim that is already ruling the charts. Later in July, Hybe debuted another girl group called New Jeans under the independent label Adore. This led to people speculating if Hybe disbanded G-Friend so the new girl groups could thrive and not live in G-Friend's shadow. Some people online mentioned that the sudden termination could be because of the scandal that happened with Solon. In February 2021, she uploaded a picture posing romantically with a mannequin of a German soldier from World War II. As soon as she realized the weight of the picture and the costume the mannequin was wearing, Solon deleted it from Instagram and apologized. However, the outrage got so big that even Western news like CNN covered the scandal, which harmed the image of the group more than anyone could predict. It probably wasn't a definite reason for disbanding, but it could have been one of the factors as to why Hybe and Source Music would hypothetically want G-Friend off their hands. Source Music isn't a fan of scandals tied to its name, and seems like a company that just doesn't know how to handle these situations correctly. A similar thing happened in 2022, when Gadam from La Seraphim found herself in a bullying controversy, and instead of communicating with fans while the situation was happening, Source Music's response wasn't as fast as the fans and media would like it to be, which caused the situation to spiral out of control, and eventually they terminated Gadam's contract with the company. The fans have been hoping for the members to leave Source Music together for a while, as the band had much bigger potential, only if they had better management. And while all the girls left Source Music, they didn't leave the industry altogether. Getting signed with Sublime Artist Agency, making her the first one to sign with the company, and she debuted solo in May 2022 with the song Aria. Solon signed with IOK Company and made her acting debut in My Chilling Roommate, where she starred alongside Dong Tanu. Yuju debuted as a soloist in January 2022 under Connect Entertainment. Three X members, Una, Shinbi, and Omji, all signed under BPM Entertainment and formed a trio called Vivi's. Vivi's is shining through K-pop, and the group even competed in Mnet's Queendom 2. The medley of G-Friend songs they performed shattered everyone's hearts and made people miss G-Friend even more. But the girls are saying throughout the interviews that they will always find their way back to each other. Shinbi proclaimed, To be honest, I do think that G-Friend members will one day reunite and release an album. Even when the members of Vivi's were asked who is the leader, they answered, We decided amongst ourselves, we don't need more than one leader. Solon is enough, so let's not pick a leader. And we didn't choose a new leader. We left the spot of leader open for her. Now fans are hoping the girls will do what GOT7 did and get together under different circumstances as a self-owned group, not bound by a label. Especially now, when Source Music failed to copyright the name G-Friend, which means that the girls could promote under the name without running into any legal troubles with Source Music. Do you believe the members of G-Friend will get back together? Thanks for watching. Bye guys!